What's up, it's Yo, you're the house lady. Thank you for checking back into my channel where we talk about all things real estate, all things real estate investing. Let me just address this right up front. Yes, it's been a minute since I dropped the video. Right now, I'm in the middle of a renovation that is trying me for everything that I say I love about real estate. It has just really been one of those renovations that has tried me at every turn. I do have a lot of footage, but I need to get that footage posted and it's just a matter of trying to edit it all and get it uploaded. I am going to start blogging, so not only will my channel be about real estate and real estate investing, because I just love beauty and fashion and I'm like, why not? I mean, I've been watching the girls, I'm addicted, I mean, I am addicted to YouTube in particular fashion and beauty and i love what the girls are out here doing and i'm like wait a minute now i've been loving fashion and beauty for a long time so i think i want to do this too and where else can you just wake up and be like yeah i want to do this and i'm gonna I'm try my hand at it so right now i'm headed to my stylist it's sunday and i'm headed to my stylist to get my color done because you know, being on the on the job site, a lot of times I'm working around a lot of drywall or I'm outside and the painters are around. And so really all I have to do is either keep my wig on or keep a hat on. My roots are grown in like grown in good, like grown in real good. So I need to go ahead and get my color touched up because, well, this is more than a touch up but um, I need to get my color touched up because um, I think I'm ready to wear my natural out. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get it done. It was easy not to go back and forth to uh, my colorist on a regular basis. And by regular, I mean every six weeks, which left up to me, I would probably be going every four weeks, like soon as that black grows in, or should I say, you know, my natural hair color grows in really fast. I'm gonna get my color done today, which is Sunday. And I'm telling you by Wednesday, my roots will be in. And not fully, but obviously I can see my roots coming in. In any case, I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. And then I'm gonna find, hopefully my stylist can tell me where there's a salon that she maybe she goes to where she knows about. So I can go ahead and get my eyebrows done. I was letting them grow in so I could try to get them reshaped and then maybe I might be able to get a pedicure at the same spot so we're gonna try to get this all done today Sunday it's already close to one o'clock so we're gonna see how this goes but I'll let you see my hair once I come out of that bowl because she about to make it do what it do so I'll check back in with you in a minute Alright y'all, I'm going under the dry. So, um, we definitely are not knowing the past. We've done some foolishness of trying to do it both in the same day. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm not suggesting that. So, what is your uh, what are your plans? Oh, let's get you through this. There she is. She's application coming. one. We are going to have to do two applications. Okay. But we were well on our way. Second, second application will get you exactly where you need to be. Yes, I am loving it. Yes, 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 yes.
right, this is kind of what we're looking like on the ride home. I had my window down so I could air dry instead of, you know, blow drying, of course, with a bleach process. I've already put a lot of stress on the hair, probably the most stress you can put on hair. And so um, it just makes sense to air dry. So that's what I'm doing. I'm still not totally dry yet, but I'm air drying. My stylist, Shaw, who you saw, um, said that my hair has always performed where, or should I say, one side of my hair has always performed differently from the other side. And she said, it's just interesting to see that after all of this time, it still does the same thing because she said this side is full, but somehow it tends to be a little shorter than this side. And I mean, I've pulled it out a little, but you can see, like, I don't know. I guess it's just always been that way. So, I don't know if you heard her say we are going to do another process probably in about four or five days. Now, keep in mind, that's the same person that's been doing my hair for, like we said, upwards of 21 years. So, she knows my head just as well as I do. We know that we can do a double process in the same day. Like we can do one process, let it let it raise to the level it's gonna get to, rinse it out, and then do another process at that very moment. We have done that many, many times before. When I've been a hothead, I want my color that day because I'm going out that night. I want my I want my color to hit. And then we've also done it where she's processed it twice in that day and then I would go back and process it that next morning on my own because obviously, well, I won't say obviously, but I've been doing it so long that I could do it on my own if I absolutely had to. Um, and that is so as to get the color we want, we, we're going to get it come hella high water. But I think I'm past that where I can certainly wait. And also, I think when we were, when we were doing that, I was... I didn't care whether my hair broke off or if it broke off, it just broke off. It was whatever. And I was going to make it do what it do because all I cared about was my color. Um, because I always felt like no matter what my hair, how, how my hair turned out, whether it broke off, she could always make it pop. She could always make it hit. But, you know, since I've let it grow out and haven't been putting the bleach in it for a while, um, I mean, I want to retain the length if I can. If I can, it's still not a big deal. But if I can, sure, I would like to because, you know, there's styles that I like to wear that maybe I would normally have to add hair, which for the most part, I'm going to add hair anyway because I just like the drama of it all. But we're going to just wait it out probably about, like I said, about five days. So I'll probably be back in her chair Thursday, Friday. Morning. Mm. It is, I think, like 8.15. I think that's what I saw. 8.15. And if there is any chance at me being great today, I have got to get out of this bed and get the jump on the girls. At the nail salon. And I also have to go to Ikea. I got a specific focus today. I have to go get some parts to cabinet system. So I need some additional pieces um, and if well not if I am going to Ikea today and when I go to Ikea I have to reward myself <laughs> by going to the outlets because they're not that far from Ikea so 
I might hit up a few stores at the outlets today. Um, get a car wash. Um, and probably some other stuff that I should have put it on a to-do list, but I didn't. Um, but I definitely have to get breakfast. But I'm not even going to try to make breakfast at home because if I even think about doing that, I won't leave the house until 11 o'clock. Hands down. No question about it. Let me get it together, get some clothes on, and get out of this house. All right, y'all, Slowpoke has made it to the car wash. because if it's already packed I'm going to have to just skip it and go straight to Ikea and guess who will be doing their own pedicure I mean, I was in there all of seven minutes, maybe. Okay, so I was only in there for two minutes. I'm just wondering what kind of day I'm having thus far because the only thing I've been able to accomplish today is getting a car wash. I still haven't had breakfast and it's 12 o'clock, so that settles that. I went into the restaurant and although they do have a vast menu, extensive menu, she just came in and told me about five things that they didn't have. And one of the ones, once I looked at the menu, I knew right away I wanted it. And that's one of the things she came back and told me she didn't have. So there's a Super Target right across the street. And I'm going in Super Target right now because I think it's like a rule. Like if you come this close to a Super Target, you just have to go in even if you don't need anything. So, you know on a super target I'm gonna stay somewhat focused and that means focused on nothing because I don't need anything but you know how I go in Target oh you know what else I'm gonna get you know what I definitely am going to get not necessarily what else but I was in here the other day and listen it's almost like I think I might have found a new cookie that I'm addicted to. Oh, I'm geeked right now. <laughs> they have one. Um, okay, the name of them is Tate. And I got the oatmeal raisin. Trust me on this one. I am a cookie aficionado. Look at Black Beauty prominently displayed in Target. And not only is it prominently displayed, but it is neat. It is orderly. It is attractive. Come on, Target. Step it on up. You're doing good. Check us out. In the middle of the aisle. Nice, neat, beautiful. I love to see. Look, look at us. Look at us. Come on, Tarje. Not all jumbled up and botched up and on the corner mixed up. Look at this. Come on, Tarje. Tarje for the win today. I love it. 
All right, yo, yo, it's go time. Get your mind right, get your mind right. We gonna stay focused up in this place. We gonna get what we came here to get. We not getting anything else other than what we came here to get. Except maybe for them little chocolate cookies. I know I just bought cookies from Target, but this is important. All right, we we're gonna stay focused up in Ikea though. I, I have my specs. I know what I need. I have come here to execute and that is what we are about to do. Oh boy, here we go. We're keeping our eyes front. Eyes front, soldier. Because the way our queue is set up, it's like impossible to get out of here without spending money. morning or more like afternoon because I've been trying to get out of the house all morning so y'all know I've been trying to get to these outlets since Sunday it is now Friday and I think I may have made it all right y'all you know I don't have a lot of time because as Shaw said we're gonna finish up with my color today second uh, application so here we go and I'll let you see what I'm looking like after I come up out of the bowl I haven't done anything to my hair all week just let it go let it air dry and wrap it up at night but I didn't put anything on it maybe I should have but I didn't and we're gonna see what it's doing I'll see you in a minute I didn't put you on it if you don't want to be on it. Oh, I thought you did something like <laughs> Look, I'm a working individual. That's okay. 
Child ain't no phone nobody. Uh-huh. Child. Uh, you, you had time to see what I do, about how I do. <laughs> Y'all had time. Y'all see. <laughs> Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see. <laughs> Well, I just figure it's not really, we going to the root. Um, I have to go down there because it's still like not, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got hot spots. Oh, okay. You got hot spots. Because you know I would have gone through it if I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell somebody else that. You know, even even though Yolanda, because with the blind and stuff, you're gonna have to do better, cause you know better. Like, um, just at night, put some. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> put some big twist in there, or some big plaits or something. You talking like four tops? Mm-hmm. Two better than nothing. You got enough memory to do a big. You know what I mean? Just so it's not being all um, tangled up, tangled up, and getting friction. Oh Lord. It's gonna help um, maintain the length that you have for as long a period as we can. I don't know why I didn't twist it as it was air drying. I really don't know why I didn't. Well, after you did, you juice it up with this stuff. Mm-mm. You want me to comb it out? I just had to get the right tool because the, the special comb Good and combed out, child. So please, 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 well, today, tonight, braid it up, twist it up. That's the key, keeping it twisted up so you don't have to do that full detangling and combing through. Yeah, I'm a, I think I'm a roller set it. Gotta do the shampoo, rinse out, stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this for years, honey. I've been doing this for years, but strip. Let me stop. Girl, I have such a format of how I wash hair that it bothers me if somebody's washing my hair and they don't, I don't feel I'm doing certain things. Or if I see someone not doing something, like I hate when I see someone washing hair and they be doing this. And the oil water be flashing back on you. I'm like, uh-huh, I just, uh-huh. I'm like, why are you not giving them a barrier? Why are you wetting up their whole face? It bothers me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you should see how I guide my girl. Like I guide her. Who? The the girl that washed my hair. Like I usually get it washed like mm, maybe once every two weeks. And I go to the Dominican Dominican salon because they get you in and get you out. Try to get in every corner, and I've been doing it the same. And you know what? I owe that to Vina. Vina showed me how to 
tired of shampoo hair. As simple as it is, it's real. Like you, obviously, you've had many people do your hair. You know that you're getting. No, good. shampooing is an it's art. It's a technique. Yeah. What? Yeah. It's a technique. Yeah. So, so what you say? You want to use a little um blonde shampoo? I don't know. Do I wanna? Do I wanna tone? What you think? What y'all think? Should I tone? This is, it's really not going to, this, this is, this I is don't, now listen, Scribe, I don't want to take this away one, my, this, this is not even the real purple stuff, this is just for chemically treated hair, it's not like the purple, purple one, okay, but, um, oh, Lord, you know, for real, you mm -hmm. could, see, look, okay, this is for chemically treated hair and stuff, it's not really going to give you the tone, it's just pinkish in color, but it's not going to leave your hair pinkish, okay, but really the, <laughs> you think it did it? No. Uh -uh. Oh. Well, what, what you mean? No, did it bring me up that you think it doesn't need to be toned? Oh. And, and again... It's preference. Yeah, it's preference. You would tone it. Um... If I yeah, wasn't if, the if, way if I was, you Yeah, you if, if it you, I would, yeah, I would bleach my client, and then I would... I mean, I would lighten my client, and then I would tone them. Yeah. Mm. Well, we'll see what y'all have to say about that, and then... Maybe next time. I'll tone, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta go, y'all. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. There you go. All right, let's. There we go. <laughs> there we go. What you didn't bring? You don't have no goods. Because you know I want the good stuff. Girl, I know you do. I'll put something on it. I don't know, but I'm be able to you know, cast on. I don't know. Oil will be getting me tangled up, but I what guess. Just to give you a little. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, so we like to say we didn't get a lot of shedding last time. We got shedding this time. Yeah. I got leave and I'm gonna use it up. It's just trying to use it a little bit. We're getting a lot of shedding. Um, not nice. Yeah. You know, I mean, well, That's I guess a lot. It's, yeah, it's, it's. That's a lot. Look like we about to lose some. Don't show hate it when that happens. Leave it, put, put, come, put it right there, yeah. Yeah, because I need to see it all together now. I'm right here, so. Oh, 
think that that is quite a bit, but you know, it could be expected to some degree when you want to go up. And I'm all the way up. I chew back with your parts again. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to just to cut it. You know, it had to be a perfect part, but just to use the middle. <laughs> So we trimmed off a bit. Good spin. Spin a little bit to the side. There we go. The other side. All right, there you go. Come on out. Thank you, darling. All right, so I am back home and course letting my hair air dry because it has so much stress and I lost a lot of hair I mean it just happens when I go up this light but I'm a little disappointed because on my way out Sha asked me did I have any Olaplex or had I ever heard of it and I'm like well someone gave me gave it to me as a gift um so she said it, you know it'd be something good for me to use so, of course, I look up Olaplex on YouTube because that's my go-to for everything now. And the, based on the way a few different people said you should use it, it might have been good for me to try to use it with the steps one and two because I have step three that was given to me as a gift and I never used it. This is it right here. I just pulled it out. I mean, I'm sure everybody knows what it is. There's a step, I believe step one, that you can put into your uh, lightener. And the way I understand it, that step aids in preventing the break breakage that you know you typically get because you're lifting so significantly. And then the way I understand it, step two kind of comes up on the back end, so to speak, to cover those areas of weakness that the step number one didn't get. And then you get to step number three. And I'm like, well, damn, if I, and I'm like, well, you know, if I knew that, I mean, I know she knows what she's doing, but I'm just wondering, it would have been nice to see if that Olaplex would have help some of the shedding because I'm very familiar with the amount of shedding that I get lifting this light. So it would have been really, really nice to see if it really worked for me, but too little too late. So I guess from here on out, I'll start using it. Um, I would really like to use the whole line if it's, if it's effective because you know, this kind this level of lift is not a joke. Like this hair breaks off easily. So, but one of the levels, I mean, one of the numbers, should I say, of the Olaplex, it might be number seven is a oil. And it struck me as odd that Olaplex has an oil that has like a goldish hue for, and this is for hair that's being, you know, lifted, which requires bleach because any blonde knows you cannot put color products in your hair with the exception of the purple shampoo i think for toning if i have that correct you cannot use any products that have any color if you're going to use an oil it must be clear if you're going to use a cream it must be clear to white like not even a a hint of a brownish hue because bleached hair takes on the color of anything that is put in it so you know you saw that i let my hair grow out for a while i was able to use my um black castor oil and all of those things no more like i may as well take those things off the shelf and put them away because i cannot use them anymore everything i use has to be this white color like the Cantu products and i'm sure there's some other things out there but it has to be white or clear so I'm curious about that Olaplex that has that golden, it's like a golden color. If I'm able to get it, I may just put it on 
like a small piece of hair to see, but I, I pretty much know. So I'm not curious about it. I'm not wondering about it. I know blonde hair takes on the color of anything. So I'm just curious about that stage and why it has that golden hue. But I'm gonna try this since all I have is uh, number three. I wanna try it. So it says your hair should be damp. My hair is air dried a little, so I'm gonna wet it a little, put it in for I think 10 minutes and then rinse it out. And then I'm gonna roller set it. All right, y'all, who know about doing your own roller set and needing that last roller and it is nowhere to be found. But roller set, almost done. You know how it is when you can't find that last roller and you got to put a roller in there that's not that size. I'm going to have to find a roller. I'm going to have to find the roller. One roller or I'm just going to have to recalibrate and split that up into two rollers that I already have. Um, but I'm determined. I'm going to find that last roller. But anyway, roller set done. All right, I have to take these rollers out now. And this could go terribly wrong if this hair is not dry. So I hope it is. Ugh. It's not. It's not, but... That's what it is, cause oh, it's not, it's not, it's not. <sighs> I've got to head out, so I really have to think about what I'm going to do. Mm. What am I going to do? I have to go. The rollers have to come out. Uh, and I don't have time to blow dry it. So... Mm. I gotta figure this out. I don't think I have a scarf that's, well, I'm sure I have a scarf that's big enough, but I might just have to roll it back up when I get to where I'm going and tie my head. They have to come out, so. Ah, uh, this is terrible. That's dry. I certainly didn't want to have to pack rollers for this trip, but Looking like that's gonna be the case, so some of them are dry, but I figured that middle wouldn't be dry. But I need to hurry. with me oh this one is like nowhere near dry I'm gonna leave that one in so I absolutely have to go Obviously, there are worse things, but that's just 
was not dry. Hmm. Let me get over it because I have got to go. I don't know if I mentioned this, but quite a bit of my hair came out from, you know, lifting this high, quite a bit of it. it may have stayed on a little too long, but. what I want so mm. Mm, this one is still really wet alright feeling real wet right here a few minutes to zap it but with the dryer but it's probably not gonna work out I've done this many times before and I know this hair my hair It air dries really fast, but if I obviously if I roll it all of the hair it's not exposed like if there were no rollers in it, so It's always this middle. It's just not going to work. It's really wet. So basically, half of my head is still wet. Mm. I might end up taking these right back out because I just don't think I'm gonna have time to even run the dryer over it, but we'll see. upset because I left my headphones but I guess that means I'm gonna just go to sleep that's how this trip is gonna go so no music for me I'll see y'all in Philly mm -hmm.